Hello, my name is Kanan Panshal and today we shall discuss surface and interfacial tension. In this video, we shall learn the following topics that is the different types of interfaces, their application, what is a surface tension, what is interfacial tension, the concept of surface free energy and the temperature dependence of surface tension. So what is an interface? An interface is nothing but a boundary which exists between two different phases. When one of these phases is a gas phase, then such an interface is called a surface. And hence, every surface is an interface. Now this is important as the molecules which exist on the interface, they have different properties than those molecules which are present in the bulk. Interfaces are classified into two, liquids and solids. Liquids are further divided into liquid-liquid interface and liquid-gas interface. We have an example of water and oil. So the boundary formed between these two liquids make up the liquid-liquid interface. The oil and the atmospheric air about it makes up the liquid-gas interface or also called as the liquid surface. In solids, we have three categories, solid-solid, solid-liquid, and solid-gas. The interface formed by two solid molecules make up the solid-solid interface. Example, the molecules of a powder. The interface formed by a solid and liquid, that is the container here and the liquid inside it, makes up the solid-liquid interface. And the interface formed by solid that is the tabletop and the atmospheric gas makes up the solid gas interface or also called as solid surface. Now remember, there is no gas-gas interface in nature. Now why is it important to study the phenomena of interfacial and surface tension? Let's look on to the application. The first is dosage delivery. How well is your film going to adhere onto the surface of your skin or mucosal membrane? Or how is your drug going to get absorbed onto the surface? Also the bioavailability of how are the molecules going to permeate through these biological membranes? All of this is going to be answered by this phenomena. Also manufacturing and stability of dispersed system become very crucial. Dispersed systems such as Suspensions and emulsions require thorough study of interfacial and surface phenomena. Now let us understand surface tension. For that, let's consider the liquid is filled inside the container. This is the vapor phase above it. These are the molecules in the bulk and these are the molecules on the surface. So let's consider this central molecule here. It is surrounded by other water molecules and the forces between the Water molecules are nothing but cohesive forces of attraction. So these forces of attraction are equal. Hence, they cancel out each other. Alright? Therefore, the net force experienced by this central molecule is zero. But this is not the same for the molecules on the surface. On the surface, it's different because at the down side, they are occupied by water molecules. But on the top, they are occupied by the air molecule. Now the force of attraction or the force of adhesion between the air molecule and this central water molecule is lesser than the cohesive force between these two water molecules. Because the cohesive force is more, there is a net inward pull for this central molecule. Therefore, Surface tension is defined as the force per unit length that must be applied parallel to the surface, that is here, so as to balance this downward pull. And the units of surface tension are dynes per centimeter in CGS and in SI it is Newton per meter. And this surface tension is usually used for the liquid and vapor interfaces and solid and vapor interfaces that are the surfaces. Now let us understand interfacial tension. It is the tension experienced by the molecules 
present at the interface. So it is defined as the force per unit length existing at the interface between two immiscible liquid phases. Now it needn't only be immiscible liquid phases, it can also be the tension experienced at the solid liquid interface. It's denoted by gamma and the units are same as surface tension. Now, since completely miscible liquids do not form an interface, therefore there is no interfacial tension existing between them. And please do remember this point that interfacial tension are less than surface tension. Now this is because the adhesive forces between the two liquids at the interface is greater than the liquid and the gas adhesion. So in a nutshell, cohesion is a force of attraction between two like molecules. Adhesion is force of attraction between two different molecules. Now, because of this phenomena of surface tension, the surface of the liquid behaves tight like a solid. And hence, certain bugs, especially the water strider, it is a species of spider, it can walk nicely over the surface of the water. So, to understand the concept of surface free energy, let us look at this animation. Now, here you see the ball going upwards. That is because some work has to be applied on the ball so for it to move upward. Similarly, for liquid molecules to come on the surface from the bulk, work has to be applied on those molecules. Therefore, the molecules on the surface possess excess of potential energy as to those in the bulk of the liquid. Now, as the surface of the liquid gets higher, more molecules with this excess energy will be occupying the surface, right? So as the surface of liquid increases, energy of the liquid also increases. And this is proportional to the size of the free surface. Now this is called the surface free energy. Therefore, we know that in universe, everything tends to gain less energy, right? Therefore, the liquid tends to attain a lesser surface area, a lesser surface energy, and therefore tries to take a droplet shape or a spherical shape. Now, surface tension can also be defined with respect to surface free energy as the surface free energy change per unit area. The surface free energy change, that is W, per unit area increase in surface tension, that is delta A, as a work per unit area required to produce a new surface. Now here, W is nothing but the work done or the surface free energy increase. It's given in ergs. Gamma is the surface tension and delta A is the increase in area. Now let us understand the temperature dependence on the surface tension. Now as the temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the water molecules therein will also increase and the surface tension decreases. That is because the stable film formed at the surface is destabilized by this excess energy. And this is a linear relation. That is with an equal unit increase in temperature, there's going to be a corresponding decrease in the surface tension. Here in example, you can see as an increase with temperature from zero to 75, the surface tension is falling down. Now, there'll be a point of temperature at which the liquid will have a surface tension of zero. And for water, it is 374.2 degrees Celsius. And this temperature is called as a critical temperature. So whenever you're measuring interfacial or surface tension, you need to keep in check the temperature. Now, this is one of the many equations used to describe this dependence of temperature. Here, theta T is nothing but the surface tension at theta degree Celsius. T naught is the surface tension at zero degree Celsius. Theta is the temperature at which you are measuring the surface tension, again in degree Celsius. And alpha is a constant which depends on the nature of the liquid. Thank you.